Right, well, following, following Gilan is a tough act, and I must say it was beautifully timed because I'm here to speak about stress, and are your anxiety levels a little high after that? I was watching from the sideline and thoroughly enjoyed that. So let's speak about that. I'm from the Resilient Energy Center, and it's really all about having a look at how we can master ourselves and master resilient. Resilience, I should say. The clicker, is she going to do this again? No, we've got it. So we need resilience. Right now, in fact, at 2 o'clock, we know Provin's going to speak. Taxes are an issue. I believe there are riots and strikes outside Parliament this afternoon. So we are living in a bubble of stress. We all want to perform at our best. We want our organizations to outperform other organizations, but it is really difficult in these tough and turbulent times. So we certainly want to speak about how we can be happier, how we can work together, and how we can make sure that we can all have a thumbs up. But that is quite difficult. So I am a, a human behaviorist. I work with the Enneagram that looks at personality and how we can bring the best out of each person. And we do, we do want to do this in corporates. But this is what we are facing. We're facing the fact that our corporate people are running a rat race. Have a look at the people around you. Left and right, one out of the three of you is suffering severe anxiety. And that's not an exaggeration. We know that the average onset of depression has gone from 49 and a half years old. 50 years down the track now, it's 14 and a half years old. Guys, we have to be more resilient. We have to fight in this turbulent time. So I want to speak to you about cortisol and stress busters. How can we address that? The fab quotient, you heard my colleague Selena Rasmus speak this morning. We formulated this framework, which has three dimensions. Fueling to unlock energy and vitality. Activation to unlock and deal with stress and be brain fit. I'm sure some of you in this room are thinking you're quite tired at the end of this day. Your brain is quite foggy. Who did we see at 8.30 this morning? So we've got to think about how we optimally use our brains. And then lastly, as a behaviorist, I like to look at how can we be authentic? How can we play to our strengths? And most importantly, in teams right now where we have matrix teams, we've got lots of mergers and acquisitions, we've got retrenchments, so new teams having to form, we've got to look at how we can powerfully collaborate. So I'm going to share four tools with you that you can take away this afternoon. It's simple. Our whole philosophy with the FAB quotient is simplicity at the far side of complexity. So this is science-based, but incredibly pragmatic. So from a fueling perspective, Celine has spoken to you, but I'll give you two takeaways. The first thing is snack for stamina. Make sure that you've got dried fruit and nuts in your computer bag, your handbag, your cubby hole, and your desk drawer. The second tool and tip is really about avoiding stimulants. So we are on this adrenaline rush. We've got cortisol running through our system. We don't need to top it up with extra caffeine, diet cold drinks, and certainly sugar. So if you're going to do something that is the most beneficial for yourself from a fueling perspective, I would suggest you watch that sugar film and lick the sugar habit. Eradicate it. It's that dreaded white stuff. From an activation perspective, we had Justin speak to us about Amy Cuddy's uh, fantastic posture research. We do need to look at how we activate our brains. So him getting us to stand up just before lunch was brilliant because that gets fresh oxygenated blood to our brain and that brain on the right is what you want your employees to have around the workplace. If you want innovative solutions to difficult problems, if you want more creativity, even if you want cohesiveness with your teams, you have got to make sure Sure that they activate. I'm not talking about pounding the pavements for an hour before work or trying to fit in gym after work. Not many people have that luxury of that time. The World Health Organization does say that we need to activate five minutes every hour, so about an hour a day. So if we bring this together under behave, in terms of the decisions you make, you've got to look and see what choices you are making in order to be fabulous. The one tip here is about sleep. You need seven to nine hours sleep. Some of you are only sleeping six hours. That is going to make you fatter, it's going to make you more sluggish, and you're certainly not going to perform at your best. So we would love to speak to you about how your teams can 
really use their stress, and there is an upside to stress, we need adrenaline, but how you can bust the cortisol to make sure that the teams are high performing in your organization. We've got a book, we've got an e-learning academy, and we would love to come in and speak to you about the specificity of what are the challenges that you are facing. Thank you.